Hey guys, Mark here from Y Property Investment and we're joined by Adrian Player. Adrian um, is a mortgage broker and, um, and, and client for this property. So this particular property, um, this was the second property in Queensland, or first property in Queensland I should say, yep. second property in your portfolio. Yeah. Um, now this particular property um, was super interesting, like it, 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 it was had a tenant that the owners um, knew, the previous owners knew, um, who looked after it really, really well. The, the grass was a mat, like literally, quite literally like a golfing green front and back. Um, as you can see from the, the home, had a bit of a spruce up from the outside. With that paint inside was quite neat and tidy condition, so the bathroom had been sort of upgraded a little bit. Kitchen was older, but um, very, very neat. And so it's really well looked after. It's actually a four bedroom, one bathroom home. Um, Unfortunately, that particular tenant um, was looking to buy their own home, so they had to move. Um, but, but we found a new tenant um, by the time the property settled. So we, we had early access with this particular property um, to advertise it and to show potential tenants through, which is what we did. And, and uh, I've got one point to add on that. Mm. It was actually a really interesting time because it was in December and there was always that that kind of period where you don't know if you can find a tenant mm. so so i've got to say that that mark and and using tony as the property manager and knowing the, the metrics or on the suburb as far as the vacancy rate we actually had four applications within mm. within a fortnight to christmas and they all wanted to move in that day so I, i've got to give it to mark um, not only getting you through the settlement but doing it at that time not only put the time pressure on the person that was selling but also for me taking that stress off me when, when you're getting that property not knowing if it's going to be vacant over the Christmas period or not. So vacancy is one of those things that is you know quite important to think about you know like if, if let's say we were chasing a higher rent for a property an extra ten dollars a week um, you know from from whatever price uh, or whatever rent we're, we're chasing um, if, if we have it sitting vacant for an extra week and, and, and let's say probably market rents four hundred dollars per week that extra ten dollars we have to uh, make up over 40 weeks to, to, to make up that that price uh, and to regain so you're better off um, having no vacancy or as little vacancy as possible and, and not chasing necessarily the, the over a market rent um, but you know obviously chasing as much as you can um, but not overpricing it so you don't get any applications or the applications that you get may actually be not good applications and, and you have to run the risk of you know, um, with bad applicants not ending up with good tenants. I mean in, in this case like you said we turned it around quite quickly had it um, advertised at market rent, got a tenant in there quickly, great tenants looking after the property. Um, now this particular one also, again, was the, like I said, the first one in Adrian's portfolio where um, it was in Queensland and, and with the strategy of looking to add a green flat to supercharge the cash flow. So but again, brilliant side access. Again, really important in Queensland to have that good separation between house and granny flat. Um, and it's just the ideal sort of setup. And, and again, low purchase price, high yielding property. Um, so, um, you know, that, that's sort of how that fit in with the strategy, right? And, and as far as I'm concerned, from a client point of view, this is just, you know, one piece in a puzzle. So, you know, you're not only just looking at an Ipswich, you're looking at a, at a South Brisbane, and you're adding little pieces around. So it, it was a good little first starter because a lot of people when they look at Ipswich they think mining they think some of the flood zone and things like that but half of the area doesn't flood and as long as you're checking you know the the ground composition before you buy half the areas aren't affected so when you've got a, a buyer's agent that knows the area and knows the suburbs I mean we've got Eastern Heights and Newtown and it's a huge hill between us and the other side where a lot of the floods are so people think Ipswich they think floods but they're not boots on the ground like I was in, in Sydney I don't fully understand this I just watched the news okay so having someone like Mark with the local knowledge eases me into the deal and really, when you look at the metrics, all I'm seeing is 700 square meter block, 
with the granny flat I can get 9-10% rental yield and it's a good little composition into the portfolio. That's how I see this for three better and you're getting it under 400000 So from a client point of view, that's how I view this deal. And, and Mark looks at all that other metrics and then communicates that with me and then obviously we, we go through with the deal. So this was the starter um, and then you know you just need good bread and butter stuff. You don't need to be hitting deals out of the park to, to build on to the next deal. Mm. So we, we, this one we picked up off market um, and, and the first thing we do as buyers agents, just, just adding on to what Adrian said, um, the first thing that we do um, before we even get in the, in the car to go look at the property or, or do anything, um, literally the first thing is we do check those flood maps because um, we just simply don't buy properties that are flood affected. Um, the other thing is when Adrian mentioned about the ground composition and stuff like that, the, the, the main, I guess, point with that is is um, checking to see if it's in a mining affected area. So um, that there was uh, quite a bit of mining influence in old mines around Ipswich, but it's clearly mapped and marked and it's, and it's, it's available for everyone to, to look at. So checking things like that, because you don't want to be buying you know, in an area where it is mining affected because even though it may never affect the house, there may not be any movement, there might not be a tunnel or a shaft close by, um, and, the, and that is a, a lot of time is the case. Um, sometimes it can affect the, the, the property and have movement, but even if it doesn't ever do that, it's always gonna have an effect on the value and the resale of the property as well. It's gonna be something that's less attractive and you'll have a smaller uh, percentage of buyers that um, we'll, we'll look at that property because it just takes out a percentage that just won't look at, like us, mining affected properties. When it comes up and it's uh, either flood or mining or a whole, whole other sort of checklist of, of uh, deal breaking type uh, situations, but mining is one of those things that if it comes up, we just don't look at it. So it takes us out of the market. There's less buyers for those sort of things. Yeah, and from my point of view, I'm when I when I was looking at this property, I'm in Sydney, so Mark's having to communicate a lot of this mining, flood, it, build the relationship. Needs to be a good starter property, mm. so it's just a good bread and butter one to start the portfolio off. Yeah, yeah. good good opportunity too when, when it was, was off market. When we bought this one, it was really in the peak of the. Um, Know, where the market was really starting to ramp up or so early on in, in that sort of stage so the market was super hot lots of buyers around lots of competition um, we were lucky enough that one of the agents that we bought quite a lot of properties through over the years um, I reached out to him to see what he to see what he had um, this one was coming up so he got us out to this one in, in, in a week or two as soon as the, the paperwork was signed we were the first and only people to come through this property we negotiated it got a great deal um, and, and, and Adrian didn't have any competition, which at that point in time in the market, um, any time anything was listed for sale on, 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 and advertised, um, you'd have you know 10 plus offers coming in on, on properties. It was just that, that fierce with the competition. So at that, that point in time, we, we grabbed a great deal without the competition. Um, obviously, we, we, we don't ever overpay for the property. We, we picked it up for a great price and un, undervalued. And one last thing I'd like to point out is that you start your portfolio, people put a lot of pressure on themselves when they don't need to. They just need to be uh, you know, finding a good bread and butter and not overthinking it and allowing that to get to the next stage, which is exactly what we do. Give us a call, send us a message, happy to help.